Hey guys, what is going on? So today was supposed to be day one back on the Nucleus Overload program that I was on. But over the course of the week, I was resting and everything like that. And I started watching more of Megan's videos. And I I had the uh, occlusion bands or the katsu bands or whatever you want to call them. I already had those. And I had been using them the past couple weeks or so. And I was really kind of getting into that. And I was watching videos based around it. And I just really wanted to kind of go all out on that. So the Nucleus Overload program... You know, I'm not going to go into details on all this stuff, but basically there are different days have different purposes and the bands using them aren't really supposed to go with certain exercises and everything like that. And I really wanted to take advantage of the Katsu training and doing it, you know, to the best of its ability. So basically what I'm doing now going forward, um, at least for this kind of training block period that I'm doing. I'm actually just going to focus more so on those type of movements. So just doing higher reps than maybe, you know, the program indicated, not necessarily doing the same exercises. Cause again, not all the exercises should be done with occlusion bands. Um, and I just want to kind of take advantage of that because I'm honestly really hyped to continue to try it. I did see some arm gains over that first phase. So that was good to see, but honestly, I'm just so, uh, so into it right now. I'm kind of pumped to do it. And during this time period, I don't have a job right now. So um, I actually want to start training twice a day. So just doing kind of more volume and spacing it out, um, taking advantage of, you know, the ability to do that while I can. And also having this crazy surplus in calories that I have now that I'm not really exercising um, to the same extent with my job and everything like that. So I just really want to take advantage of this time period and I'm just hyped to do it. So that's kind of why I'm switching to that. So I want to continue doing kind of how it was specified before, but just for the time being, I really just want to do more of like getting a pump, doing the Katsu training, occlusion bands, whatever you want to call it. And I, I want to do that for the next like month or so and, and see what happens. But Honestly, uh, I've been training so kind of strength oriented for so long that I think, you know, I have the benefits of that. I am pretty strong and I would like to just kind of build a little bit of muscle and just see if I can more of a, an experiment, more so than it being my goal. But um, I've never really done a lot of bodybuilding stuff or really try to build my muscle too much. It's mostly just been strength training stuff, compound movements. And now that I have you know, this opportunity with my home gym and with all my time off and all this food that I'm eating and the lack of exercise, the lack of walking that I'm doing. Um, I just really want to give it a good go, give it a chance. And so that's what I'm doing moving forward. So this next training block is just going to be more, like I said, more high rep, you know, just general katsu training, still going to be some of the same exercises, but just doing a little bit of a different style here. And I actually just finished my second workout of the day. So today again was supposed to be day one after, you know, a week break and yeah, I'm excited and that's what I'm doing moving forward. So if we see any crazy gains over the next month, I think we can probably attribute that to, you know, partially nucleus overload and partially the katsu training if that ends up happening. But so far I've gotten good results as far as, you know, muscle gains in my arms, it seems like. Um, as far as strength, I did test, um, I just put 300 pounds on the bar and was seeing how many times I could rep it out. And I could only get three reps. So that was after resting over that time period. So that's actually, um, if you throw that into one rep, one rep max calculator, then uh, that's gonna give you a little over 315, which was my max like over a year ago. So I don't know if I'm just not recovered, but I felt very recovered. Maybe, for me, I kind of noticed that when I don't lift heavy um, for a while, even if it's like a month or so, my strength definitely goes down. And once I start lifting heavy consistently, that's when my strength goes up. So I think it's more that than like me not being recovered because I felt pretty recovered, you know, after that week, I felt fine. So, um, and yeah, I also, when I've done high volume uh, training, high frequency training in the past, it's never affected my strength. So I think that's just different style of training and stuff, but just want to throw that out there. I would say my max right now probably couldn't do 335. Maybe I could do like, you know, 320 or something max, maybe 315. I don't know. Um, I guess I could try, but <laughs> I don't know. Just 
it's not a big deal. It's not what I'm focused on right now. I'm not focused on strength. Just I want to build muscle, and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So that's all I got to say about that. I will keep you updated, and I will talk to you soon.